Okay, here we are getting ready for our first test and I want to walk you through a little bit. Now, right now you're watching this directions for the first test video, so great. Um, but I want to show you what our first test will look like. So when you go ahead and click into here, notice this is not for a grade. Don't take this seriously. It's just so you can kind of see what it looks like before you get into the test. So I'm going to say, you'll see here you have your time period and then you get a grace minute of five, a grace period of five minutes. So after two hours and 30 minutes, I still give you another five to make sure you hit submit on everything. So at 2.30, when you run out of time, you still can go through and hit submit. Um, hopefully you don't take that long, but just understand how to read that. Now you'll notice in here, my timer has now started. I can't reset that. So once you click into here, take your test. Um, you'll see here, each problem is worth one point, 100 tries on each problem and whatever. So now what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna agree. You'll notice there's a blue dot next to the question. When I hit submit, <clears throat> that blue dot goes away. Top one of five, five problems answered. There is no feedback, no green check, no red X. Um, so you go through, you take your test, you finish the test. I believe your test is 17 or 18 questions. So you're gonna go through and do all this. I'm gonna very hope, I'm gonna hope that three is the correct answer for a lot of stuff here. Okay, there we go. So no blue dot, no blue dot, so on and so forth. Five out of five answered, that looks great. Now, um, what do I do to leave the test? Uh, I literally just click out. And there we go. So we have taken, we have taken our first sample test. You'll notice black circle, all time questions attempted, perfect. Now, uh, going on to the actual test. We're not gonna do it, be, but um, I have some, instructions on how I want you to do this. Now, first things first, remember I grade your work, not what's put into more, but why I have you type stuff into more, is it better match your work? If it doesn't match, I assume you cheated. I assume you did your work after the time limit or something of that nature. So please do not change your work um, you know, on your paper after the test is complete. And if you do change it on your paper, that's fine. Just make sure you also change the answer in more so that way they match. Um, okay, so you're gonna do that. You're gonna take your, you do your work on paper. You're gonna have 30 minutes to upload it, upload pictures into OneNote. Now, we're gonna have a lot of pictures. So here's what I ask of you. When you upload your pictures, please do them in a vertical column. And I would also recommend, if you want, one, pic, one problem per page. Because what happens is sometimes you say, oh, uh, you do problem three, then you do problem four, and you realize you made a mistake on problem three, so then you do this, and then problem three goes below problem four, and it's very hard for me to grade when things are not in the right order. Now, if you do do this, that's fine, but just when you take your pictures, just upload them, little little cropped pictures. There's problem three, there's problem four, there's problem five, um, so I can see them in order. The next thing, do not do your work in multiple columns, Right. Do not do problem one, two, three, four, five, six, because I need space to grade. I need, and if you write it like this, I have nowhere, you know, if your work's here, I can't fit it in here because off to the side you have problem five. And so one column for your work and one column for your pictures. So that way, because in the past I've had a student stick pictures way over here and way over here and I couldn't find them all. So please, one column, all on the left hand side. Um, pictures in your number, your problems in order. All right, so we got that out of the way. Now, if uh, I mentioned this, but if there is anybody who needs a has disability resource services and they um, need extra time or anything of that nature, please make sure you talk to me before you start the test because once you start it, I cannot add time. So, if you have any other questions about the test, this is for everybody. Please contact me before you start the test because once you start the test, I cannot add time. Um, okay, and uh, you will need your password to get into the test, and that is I am ready test one. All right, good luck.